so good. All right guys, today we are looking for snakes in one of my favorite settings, which is abandoned garbage dumps in the woods. So this used to be some sort of farm or homestead and you can see behind me, there's all these abandoned cars, there's tin, there's junk and snakes love places like that. It's one of the best places you can look for snakes because when humans leave, lizards and mice and things like that that snakes like to eat move in. So we're gonna get started and see if we find anything. Wow, it looks nice. All right, check this out. We've got little baby shrews in this hole. I think that's what they are. I don't know that I've ever seen many babies. Huh. All right, we won't bother them anymore, but that's kind of cool. Oh, shed. Yo, that's a milk shed. A oh milk my shed. god. That's a big one too. That is a shed from a milk snake in an area where they're quite rare. We found them before in that tin stack. The head should be in my pocket still, hopefully. Oh yeah, here we go. Looks like this guy would have had a bright red head. You can see how long it was. Nice adult milk snake, what a bummer. <laughs> we're gonna keep flipping tin, but uh, we're on the right track. <laughs> Nothing there. Look at him. He's about to flip his first milk. Hey, and walk all over the, the cover, thanks. Whoa, okay, ready? Yeah, there's tunnels. Well, no, there's a snake right there. It's a restart thing. What? Right there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah! <clears throat> oh. It's all his stupid little face. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> he almost kissed you on the forehead. All right, black racer. These guys are super, super common. I'm going to try to not get bit by this guy. He's kind of in shed, and he's in a tin stack that we set up earlier this spring right there. So, pretty neat. All right, see you later, buddy. I think he's doing like almost doing thanatosis or something. Yeah. You can see all these cars have like started rotting into the ground. I'm not sure there's much to flip directly around these, but it's a really good area to start looking for stuff. There's got to be garbage somewhere. This one looks really good. There's just a baby brown skink in there. Oh, oh, milk! Yes, dude. It's in shed. That's really pretty, though. Let me see that. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. We might get another in here. Oh, brown snake. Oh, shed. Shed. Where? Sheds, right there. Oh, is that a milk shed, you think? Holy crap. Okay. So this guy is chomping away at me, but this is a stunning coastal plains milk snake. Just what we were looking for today, and the same thing that we found the shed from earlier today. Unfortunately, this guy's going into shed, and like the shed that we found in the tin stack, it seems like these guys are getting up into cover today to shed their skin. This guy will not be shedding his skin today, but hopefully we'll be able to encounter him another day and he'll be out of shed. But his bands go beautifully low towards the stomach. Just super, super awesome. And uh, yeah, he is busy chomping away at my finger. Gorgeous snake though. Look at that broken band. So nice. All right, check that out. That is just so awesome. We walked him over to some woods just to get for more in the shade for pictures and um, we're just taking a better look at this guy. And I mean, look at that. The bands go all the way down and kiss the stomach. Not even kiss, they just fully almost wrap because you can see, yeah, look at that. Those bands legitimately wrap and then the tail just turns to completely black. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just such a shame that this snake is in shed because 
I mean, look at that. That would be shimmery white and black. And then beautiful, beautiful red. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. We're just happy to be seeing snakes. The head is like kind of like easterny in a way. Eye stripes and whatnot. But man, all right, we're gonna keep photoing this thing and then we're gonna let it go. All right, pretty sweet, beautiful little snake. Gonna send it on its way. Sweet. Oh, no. I have been awaiting this moment all day. I knew this would happen at some point. I would say I'm not super adequately repaired. I am sprayed with permethrin, but if you guys don't know, these little specks all over my pants are seed ticks, uh, which will suck if I don't get them off. So, got a lint roller, and we gotta roll the crap out of my pants. Start with an initial pass, just to try to get as many as we can off. Then we'll break out to another sheet, but that is not good. Okay, gonna deal with this. Black racer. <laughs> there he goes. Whoa, uh, lizard. Worm. Grab it. Oh, that's sick. It's a really high band count. Look at that broken collar, though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that really got you? Is it out of shed? Yeah. Guys, look at this. We found another milk snake. This one looks so different than the first one. It's crazy. You'll notice, I mean, just looking at the top of this snake, it's got so many cross bands like that. And that's pretty uncommon for this area, honestly. I would say that the first milk that we found was more typical than this one. It's still got really low going bands and uh, a really neat little face with cool broken band by the neck, but just an odd looking snake. We're excited though, this is probably this year's young. All right guys, so this snake just shed its skin in our hands. I didn't get it on video, but holy crap. I did not really think that this thing was in shed, but when snakes are just about to shed, they actually go from having blue eyes to clearing up where it almost doesn't look like it's in shed. And uh, man, this guy is like twice as vibrant as we thought he was. It's ridiculous. That's nutty. All right, so this is how we're photographing it. This is Dave's photography setup, not the DSLR, but the flash rig. Get two flashes and uh, show you guys what some of those pictures turn out like, but as you can see, this guy's posed up. I love to throw the sun at the snakes. Loves to throw some, some flash at the snakes, make that color pop. As you can see, this guy doesn't need it. That's so dope. All right, we're gonna get this one back. Man, in the shade even, it just looks so gorgeous. It's time to let it go though, so. Just gonna see. It goes right back into the folds of this tin stack, but tin has been the move today. Absolutely epic. So we started out the day with a shed from a, maybe young adult Coastal Plains milk snake that looked like it would have been a really, really pretty one, which I mean, it's disappointing, but it got us excited. We knew we were on the right track, and we proceeded by finding two more so far. And we still have a good amount of the day to keep flipping around, and then we're gonna cruise. Look at this guy. It's kind of weird, these guys are so fast. It's called a little brown skink. They almost look like a salamander. Whoa, I didn't think he was alive for like a second there. 
because as you can see, whoa, whoa, they're fast. All right, so we're gonna go through that. <laughs> it's a lot of metal and we're gonna see what's in there. Today, tin has been pretty stellar, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh skink. <laughs> Move them out. Oh wow, oh dude, there's a huge copperhead shed in here. It almost looks like a timber shed. Yeah, I'd be surprised if there wasn't a copperhead in here, so. Wash the fingies. Try not to put my finger in there. That's a big copperhead shed. Oh, oh, oh cool. Ringer, I guess. All right, so far we've got a little ringneck snake. Joseph, my man, quiet down, I'm filming. So far we've got a little ringneck snake and we found several copperhead sheds in the tin, so. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Very considerate. Anyway, I'm gonna put this guy in the leaves over here. He'll make his way back to the stack eventually, but we still need to go through a bunch of it, so. It's still a beast. This is gonna be the part that has the copper if anything. Oh, dude. Okay, give me a second to like, just, it's like full of sheds. Yeah. Another copperhead shed? Like old? Cause this is like a very clear copperhead shed, I think. Like dyed orange. Oh, it got all rusty. Yeah. I think the theme for the day has been big stacks, little snakes. Not complaining about what some of the snakes were, but little snakes in the big stacks. I don't even know where the copperheads were. There were like three copperhead sheds in that thing. All right, we got a snake. So, whoa, he's cracked out. It's a little copperhead. Hey, hey buddy, go this way. Huh, can you stop for just a moment? Thank you. Look at him wiggling his little tail. He's like a puppy dog. All right. It has disturbed you. Look at this like, <laughs> look, look at him striking. Not anymore. That's what he's doing where he's gliding through the air. Is I know. Just... That's good that he's that energetic. We'll let him on his way. But it's a good sign that other snakes might be moving. Look at him. He's going to have trouble getting up the hill there. Wriggler. Man, he's... What's with the snakes tonight? It's like, it's not warm at all, but they have infinite is energy. Is that a car? Probably. All right, I'm gonna move this guy off the road. A little smooth earth snake. Dude, my guy. Nice little smooth earth snake. Pretty bland snakes, but always enjoy seeing them. Gonna make sure he gets off the road. And we're gonna keep cruising around for a bit. All right, we're doing a little shining and we got a water snake hanging out right here. I'm just gonna leave it as is. It looks like a pretty big one, but we're just gonna keep looking around. Those guys stink and bite a lot so <laughs> all right guys we're heading home right now uh it wasn't a super productive night but can't complain about the day we just had two milk snakes at a place where they're pretty difficult to find and as you can see they're super variable the two that we found totally different looking so pretty awesome i'm gonna have to wrap things up so if you made it this far in the video thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one